Lazula Papa Market was born from Lazula, not just food, but a way of life. The name of my homestead and the Facebook page associated with it. Lazula, not just food, but a way of life was conceptualized as a community-based lifestyle page with a focus on health, well-being, community, and a love for Mother Earth. I have many creative and crafty friends, and I wanted to get their product out to the community. The pop-up is just starting. We've got all sorts of exciting things here. I'm pretty sure I'm already sold out of the elderberry wine. I only have one bottle left. Yes, this I grow at my home um, organically, biodynamically. Mm -hmm. And then I simmered up with some cinnamon, clove, and ginger. And then I fold in the organic raw honey. Ooh. So um, I always have it at my I house. Wonder, I wonder if uh, freeze dry <laughs> pop up. And you buy a freeze dryer for about three thousand dollars, and then you you put it in. It takes out a hundred percent of the water and ninety seven percent of the nutrients. Oh. So these are shelf stable for twenty five years. Wow, like a McDonald's hamburger. No. They're not going to last 20 They're not going to last 25 years. They're not going to last maybe a week, maybe a couple days maybe. But they but um yeah, it's all organic, it's all natural, so you're not getting any These are cat toys. Oh, cat toys full of catnip. <laughs> and I love this little snail. It looks kind of like a squid snail. Yeah, this is um uh, an anamite. Uh Ancient fossil? Ooh. Brought to life in crochet. <laughs> that is fabulous. Do you make up your own patterns? Uh, most of the time, yes. What do we got here? So we have some local tropical fruits. We got our first of our vegetables here, local organic vegetables in the season. And we got some fresh stuff for you. Oh, awesome. What brought you to the pop-up market? Community. We want to share with our community, connect, talk, meet them face to face, um, and share the experience of fruit. Oh, awesome. We did the first pop up market here at Lazula, not just food, but a way of life. We had five vendors, and everybody did great. Hi, so what do we got here? Hi, everybody. We're the Martinez's. Uh, I'm Alberto, Stephanie, and Penelope. And uh, today we have our coquito. That's right, we have a uh, regular traditional style. We also have the little V because we offer vegan style as well too. Um, it's a twist on uh, American eggnog. It's a Latin version, a Puerto Rican Argentinian version. Um, and it's, it's one of the best liqueurs you can have during the holidays. So if you're interested, if you want to check us out, uh, you can look us up on Alberto Martinez Facebook or Stephanie yeah, Kohler. Right hey, hold go it again. There you go. There you go. Okay. Coquito. Yeah, it's one of the best desserts to have during the holidays. Uh, we serve it non-alcoholic so that you can pour your own alcohol and enjoy. So, thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us here. On our one year anniversary, we had 20 vendors and I don't think anybody went away disappointed. Hi, so what brought you guys to the cup of our pop-up market? Gita. Gita? Hi. And I've got my Spanakopia, it's almost sold out. Um, lots of different soups this week. I've got uh, cauliflower mushrooms, sweet potato butternut squash, uh, small cream of asparagus. Um, over here we have from this morning, uh, sweet pea soup, and that's also veggie, and then a bean salad. So what brought you to the pop-up market? Um, Adriana, just the community. I've you know known a lot of the people around here for a long time, and um, we all just come together for it. What uh, would you sell? You what would you say you sell the most of? Oh, the Spanakopita. Okay, can I see it again? Every time people come, they're like, "Can I? I gotta get that first because it sells out." I literally got here and there was a lineup. Oh my gosh, it's so good! I bought two myself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, my name is Isabella Crespo and I am 10 years old. I started making bracelets two years ago when, for a school fundraiser and I really enjoyed it so I kept on making them. Oh wow. And I came here to sell them. Okay. And I would, and if you could, please follow me on Instagram at beadsbybella21. So, 
let's talk about what brought you to the pop-up market or the barter system or what you want to yeah. talk about. Well, I was invited by Adriana. Um, I had been making these necklaces and she thought of me and I had not thought of myself as a pop-up market person but uh, basically with that invitation it just gave me the inspiration that yeah okay I can make some products and some sustainable products I'm an environmental inspector by my um, by my career and so full-on environmental scientist my whole life and so being able to do some sustainable products has been really fun I would have never done this had this not been I love, I love that. Can we talk about that? Because I yeah, love, so from the I snails, have that. I thought, okay, my table needed something else, and I was making these for myself already, and just decided to go for it, and uh, now I make these reusable wraps, so. I might need to order some more, because yeah. one was on top of my teapot, the yeah. wax got all over the teapot. It I was... haven't bought saran wrap in three years. Yeah. It's so wonderful. Or, or zip locks, yeah. <laughs> so, they work. I'm Robbie Sanchez, do the pastry chefs. I heard about the pop-up market through Shoots and Cahoots, and they're, they do the produce to help me with. And today I just have the pumpkin bread and pumpkin tarts. Oh, yummy. And are they homemade? Do yes. you make them yourself? Yes. I'm a pastry chef. Oh, wow. And Sin is my personal business and um, message me or text me and I can make any pretty much anything awesome. vegan as well as uh, regular cakes you name it thank you hi so what brought you guys to the pop-up market um, I'm Brittany and I actually own the brand Viral Stones and we just came out to you know start sharing our creativity again after you know a really hard year <laughs> so 2020 has been a little insane yeah and uh, the funny thing with my jewelry is that everything is meant to help you find negative thoughts and choose positive thoughts instead um, so everything is um, infused with meaning and intention so um, you know everything it's based on the colors and the crystals and it just really is whatever speaks to you and um connects to your heart and what you need about Oh wow. Okay, wow. Your stuff is beautiful. Hi. Hi, I'm Mimi. And um, what brought me here was just to um, enjoy this outdoor um, space and also to um, put the word out there. I'm just now starting out my own local small business called Avender Body. And it's um, based off of preservative-free um, soaps, scrubs, and sugar um, sugar scrubs and lotion bars. One day, I overheard one of our patrons say, "La Zula Pop Up Market, not just a market, but a community," and it made my heart sing. Star fruit. We have toilet paper plant or you could also use it as a tea. Some people even cook with it. What brought you to the pop-up market? Uh, fun and friends and a chance to share and, and be shared with and uh, just kind of kick back and have a good time. And support, you know, uh, share locally grown, really quality, healthy food and interact with really good people. Cool. We pop up at different locations to increase access for vendors and the patrons. So follow along on our Facebook page, La Zula, not just food, but a way of life. And then you won't miss upcoming pop-up markets. Hope to see you there soon. And remember, vending is always free and bartering and trading are strongly encouraged. Initially, Cynthia, when she suggested doing this, she, uh, she was gonna try to get video and also be a vendor but her table got a little busy and she handed her phone off to someone who was gracious enough to get some video for us. And we want to give a huge thank you to Karen Rubens, who did a great job. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you.